Hey Virgo, it's Nicola. Let me put these glasses on because I really can't see. All right. <laughs> I get it. So let's see what messages we have. What guidance do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for February the 16th to February the 22nd, 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have for Virgo? All right, Virgo, we got two. We got grounding and hold your center. So I do feel like you're going to have to kind of stand firm this uh, week here. Grounding here. You long for the f free and open world of spirit and light, yet you also yearn to experience the healing power and divine joy of sacred sound and living color. You are meant to bring joy, beauty, and comfort to the world, to share the spiritual light. To do so, you need grounding. Your dreams want you as much as you want them. Grounding helps you bring your dreams to life in your world for the benefit of many. Okay, let's hold your center here. Let's see what we have for this. Chill, kid. You have been rushing out to meet others, trying to bend or accommodate their needs at the expense of your own well-being and inner peace. Now you are to strengthen your own energy, your own boundaries, to find your ground, play, firmly place your feet there, and do not move. Feel your feet anchoring you like a beautiful tree. Let yourself experience quiet, quiet certainty as you hold your center with commitment, courage, and consciousness. All right. So let's see what guidance we have. What messages, what guidance do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for February the 16th through February the 22nd, 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for February the 16th, February the 17th, February the 18th, February the 19th, and February the 20th. February the 21st to February the 22nd of 2020. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I could not get them cards together. Y'all know that video I made about holding on too tight to cards? That's what happens. You ain't gonna be able to push your motherfuckers together. All right, so we have Six of Pentacles here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're having a lot of fear, and that's keeping you at an imbalanced state. You have an opportunity to bring balance to your life, but I do feel like you have to really accept the opportunity, whatever it may be. Sun card here. There's going to be some clarity here Sunday. Monday here, Five of Pentacles. So it's going to be clear that there's that you're dealing with a lack situation. You could also be worried here about something coming out or something being clear. Chariot here. I feel like you're needing to be in the space of being motivated. The chariot moves forward toward victory. So I feel like when you move, you're going to move toward victory. Wednesday here, King of Pentacles here. This could be you because you're an earth sign or you could be dealing with an earth sign. King of Pentacles is Taurus. But this could be a masculine earth sign. Thursday we have... The Six of Swords. I feel like this is about you being confident and moving forward. You being confident and moving forward toward a new foundation for yourself. Friday, we have the Magician here. Most definitely, if you're manifesting something, you need to be confident about that manifestation. King of Swords. And really act on what you know or act on what you, your actual, this is about your willpower to actually do what you are manifesting or do what you are needing or intending to do. So sun card here could be dealing with a Leo. We have the eight of wands. So this is about clearly moving forward. Could have some clarity through communication. Something that you may have already known. Leo here twice. I feel like you could be dealing with the Leo. But with judgment here, this is about making a decision. With the eight of wands, high priestess, and strength. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're waking up. Things, things are becoming clear to you. So I do feel like you need to be confident about moving forward. I think you need to be confident about moving forward because things are becoming clear. Whatever, clear, whatever, you know, smoke and mirrors you had before, it's becoming clear now. I couldn't think of another word. Whatever illusions, that's the word. So five of pentacles here. I do feel like there is some worry here about moving forward. Six of swords. You're worried about moving forward. Six of swords. Three of swords. So I feel like you need to move forward. You've earned the success to move forward, but you're dealing with some sorrow and some disappointment. Some of you guys feel left out in the cold through a recent transformation that has occurred. I feel like for a lot of you guys, again, yes, something has changed. It's becoming clear or it is clear to you 
you need to be confident about moving forward. Whatever these changes that have occurred, they've occurred for your greater good. So chariot here. Why is this chariot here? Why is this chariot here? Why is this chariot here? Could be dealing with the cancer. Ten swords here. Seven swords. So this is about finding the motivation to move forward. Ten swords, seven swords, and judgment. Again, judgment was the underlying energy of one thing before. Queen of Pentacles, this is you. So I feel like you know within your heart that there's an end to a difficult situation, an end to some deception, some heartbreak. I feel like you've waken up and you realize that you do have to make the decision to move forward. Chariot is about a spiritual decision to move toward victory for yourself. And I feel like you're becoming more aware that this is a choice that you need to make with that awareness now you're confident about moving forward because you're realizing this is because you're realizing moving forward embraces the end of the difficulties you've been feeling king of pentacles here why is this king of pentacles here why is this king of pentacles here we have the five of swords so i do feel like for a lot of you guys five of swords hangman with the three of wands you could be in the space of really feeling defeated um, I feel like your perspective needs to change. You have an opportunity to establish your strength, to really build the foundation that you desire, to act on building the foundation that you desire, but you need to be in alignment with confidently accepting a new opportunity or confidently accepting a new foundation for yourself. With the six of swords that does require, again, moving forward. Why is the six of swords here? We have the eight of cups so yes so someone i feel like you're moving forward into a new ascension on a new spiritual path eight of cups ace of pentacles with the foolish man i feel like you have an opportunity to move forward and i feel like that is what you need to focus on um you have manifested a whole new life for yourself so be in be in alignment with moving forward eight of cups here abandon a situation that was not successful that was maybe confusing and really take the opportunity that god has granted you magician here I feel like you've manifested this new start emperor here so magician and emperor are almost like the same energy it's about really taking control taking action using the resources that you have available to move forward temperance here with the emperor i feel like it's time for you to gain control will of fortune and create the change that is necessary in your life ace of swords yes so this is about you this is about you manifesting, um, physical manifesting, not just wishing and hoping and on a star, but actually making the moves that are necessary in order to bring balance to a situation. Now, you could have also been in a space of really, um, I feel like that's it. I don't feel like I have to say anything else. So with the King of Swords here, why is this King of Swords here? Why is this King of Swords here? We have the Four of Cups. I feel like you're really seeing clearly that a situation is dis heartening to you discontent to you you don't like it you're starting to see the bigger picture and i feel like you're cutting away a situation four of wands six of pentacles really making plans to create balance within your life by detaching from an imbalanced or an unhappy situation so let's see what guidance we have what guidance Whew. what guidance do we have moving forward for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, what guidance do we have moving forward for Virgo? All right, first card we have is healing. So most definitely in the space of healing, nurturing yourself right, uh, right about now, ambition. So you're being told to follow the wisdom with inside of yourself, nurture yourself, and really take action. Again, things are becoming clear, so it's time to act. This is all I have. Until next time, y'all. Peace.